Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question video series. Here is another interesting question that I have received from one of the subscriber. So here is the snippet of the question. So here we have actually an input table which contains a ID, date and the number of visitors. That is date wise the number of visitors. So the expectation is we need to print three subsequent days, three or more than three subsequent days wherever the visitor count exceeds 100. For example, in this example, from 6th Jan to 9th Jan, if you see, the number of visitors are consecutively more than 100. Similarly, from 11th to 13th, the visitors are more than 100. So, whenever the consecutive days are 3 or more than 3, then we need to print in the output. So, in this case, our expected output is from 6th to, 6th to 9th Jan and from 11th to 13th. Of course, this can be resolved by n number of different ways. And I will show you one of the easiest and simplest approach. First, what we are going to do is we are just going to exclude all the record wherever the number of visitors are less than 100. For example, in this case, I am just going to exclude all these record wherever the number of visitors are less than 100. That is our first step. Second step, I am just going to print a simple row name. So this pseudo column will just print the sequence number. In the third step, I am just going to subtract this id column and the row num. so in this case if you see we're just subtracting one minus one it will just give us zero similarly two minus two here which will just give us zero here in this case six minus three it will just give us three like that it will just give one number here you can see some pattern here okay that means there is two zeros and you can see here there are four three so you can see four so this will help us to identify whether these three records are continuous record for example in this case if you see it's 11th 12th and 13th so in this case if you see here if you see this batch it is a continuous batch like six seven eight nine like that okay the next step i'm just going to count how many number of zeros how many number of threes how many number of four like that so for this we can use the analytical function so if we try to count like this if you can see here number of zeros are two number of three are four number of fours here are three okay this is the last step finally we need to see wherever this group count is greater than or equal to three that is what we need to print in the output so that will exclude this count too so that we can just get only this set that is from 6th to 9th Jan and from 11th to 12th. So that is what is our expected output. Now let me show you how to write this SQL. Okay, I'm just dropping this table and I'm just creating a table T with ID column, date column and the count to store the number of visitors. And I'm just populating all the sample data. Data are populated. So let me select from the table, select star from T. So what we need is id column date column count column right all these three are there okay in the very first step what i'm just going to do i'm just going to exclude all the count where count greater than or equal to 100 so by this way we can actually exclude all these record wherever the count is less than 100 the next step we're just going to print the row num sequence so as you can see here, we are just printing a simple sequence as part of our output. The next step as part of the step three, I'm just going to print ID minus Rona so that we will get a pattern here, right? Now what we need is we just need to get this group count. So let me just give alias as like R, right? Now the next step we need to find the group count for that I'm just using the analytical function over partition by id minus row num. right now we got this group count so let me just give the alias as g underscore count right let me make this as a with class with data set as Select ID, date, count, and then group count from 
data set. Here we just need to filter only the records where group count is greater than or equal to 3 and we can order it by the first column that is id column so we got the expected output right so here is the query for your reference so just to recap our learning here so here is our id column here is our date column here is our count so here is our row name here is our id minus row name and here is the group count which we computed and finally we are just filtering wherever the group count is greater than zero so that we will get the expected output right if you have learned something new please like this video if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of interview question series or as part of subscriber question series if your question is not already answered please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video please subscribe and stay tuned for new future video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video